My name is Yusuf Izzulim bin Johari from class semester 1A. So today I will describe what commonly used to IoT platform that is Arduino IDE and NodeRed. The Arduino IDE or Integrated Development Environment is a cross-platform application for Windows, Mac OS and Linux that is written in function from C and C++. It is used to write and upload programs to Arduino compatible boards but also with the help of third-party course, other vendor development boards. The source code for the IDE is released under the GNU General Public License version 2. The Arduino IDE supports the languages C and C++ using special rules of code structure. The Arduino IDE supplies a software library from the wiring project which provides many common input and output procedures. User written code only requires two basic functions for starting the sketch and the main program loop that are compiled and linked with the program start main into executable cyclic executive program with the GNU toolchain also include the with IDE distribution. The Arduino IDE employs the program of DOOT to convert the executable code into the text file and hexadecimal encoding. This is loaded into the Arduino board by a loader program in the board's firmware. By default, of DOOT is used as the uploading tool to flash the user code onto official Arduino boards. With the rising popularity of Arduino as a software platform, other vendors started to implement custom open source compilers and tools that can build and upload sketches to other microcontrollers that are not supported by Arduino's official line of microcontrollers. Microcontrollers, sorry. In October 2019, the Arduino organization began providing early access to a new Arduino Pro IDE with debugging and other advanced features. So next, I will tell about NodeRed. NodeRed is a programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, and online services in new and interesting ways. It provides a browser-based editor that makes it easy to wire together, flows using the wide range of nodes in the palette that can be deployed to its runtime in a single click. NodeRed provides a browser-based flow editor that makes it easy to wire together, flows using the wide range of nodes in the palette. Flows can be then deployed to a runtime in a single click. JavaScript function can be created within the editor using a rich text editor. A built-in library allows you to save useful functions, templates or, for, or flows for reuse. The lightweight runtime is built on node.js, taking full advantage of its even-driven, non-blocking model this makes it ideal to run at the edge of the network on low-cost hardware such as the Raspberry Pi or as well as in the cloud. With over 225,000 modules in Node's package repository, it is easy to extend the range of pallet nodes to add new capabilities. The flows created in Node-RAID are stored using JSON which can be easily imported and exported for sharing with others. An online flow library allows you to share your best flows with the world. NodeRed is pulled on Node.js, taking full advantage of its event-driven non-blocking model. This makes it ideal to run at the edge of the network on low-cost hardware such as the Raspberry Pi and as well as in the cloud. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Faris Aklan bin Muhammad Nasir and I'm from semester 1A. And today I'm going to talk about LoRa. And what is LoRa? LoRa stands for long range and 
it runs by a company called Samtap. And LoRa can be used in various application, for example, healthcare and many more. And there are many advantages of LoRa, and one of them is they can be used for long range data transmission and the distance of the data transmission can go up to 200 kilometers and the, the other advantages of the LoRa is also they use low power and they don't need they don't consume lot of power to transfer data and there are also the disadvantages of LoRa that the disadvantages of LoRa is they can only uh, send limited data for example um, the small amount of data uh, only can be transferred is up to 50 kbps and that is not many and uh, video transmission is not possible and what is possible from LoRa? They can transfer data from sensor and for example from sensor humidity and light pressure and the other disadvantages of LoRa is limited bandwidth and moving on to the next one is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi has a few notable differences from other wireless technologies for example, Wi-Fi transmits at frequencies of 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. These frequencies are much higher than the frequencies used for cellular transmission. Higher frequency means the signals can carry more data. However, as you know well, all forms of wireless communication represent a trade-off between power consumption, range and bandwidth. So, in exchange for high data rates, Wi-Fi consumes a lot of power and doesn't have a lot of range. In fact, the longest range Wi-Fi has ever transmitted data is 260 miles. The Swedish Space Agency transmitted data to an overhead stratoscopic balloon 260 miles away. But they use non-standard Wi-Fi equipment and 6 watt amplifiers to achieve this. For your average Wi-Fi router, Ranges are much shorter and depend on a number of factors. Range can depend on the antenna, reflection and refraction, and radio power output. A range of about 100 feet is common, so if you have the thousand of sensors out in a field, Wi-Fi isn't a great option. Wi-Fi can be good for IoT applications that don't have worry about power drain. Inclusive devices are plugged in into an outlet that need to send a lot of data, for example, video, and do need high range. A good example would be a healthcare system. Middleware is software that lies between an operating system and the applications running out on it. Essentially, functioning as hidden translation layer. Middleware enables communication and data management for distributed applications. It sometimes called plumbing as it connects two applications together so data and databases can be easily space between the pipe. Using middleware allows users to perform such requests as submitting forms on web browser or allowing the web server to return dynamic web pages based on a user profile. Now I want to explain the types of programming language. The first one is procedural programming language. The procedural programming language is used to execute a sequence of statements which leads to a result. Typically, this type of programming language uses multiple variables, heavy loops and other elements 
which separate them from functional programming language. Function of procedural language may control variable other than function value returns. For example, printing out information. The next is scripting programming language. These programming languages are often procedural and may comprise object-oriented language elements, but they fall into their own category as they are normally not full-fledged programming languages with support for development of large systems. For example, they may not have compile time type checking. Usually, these languages require tiny syntax to get started. Okay, Assalamualaikum, my name is Nabi Ifan from class 1A. Now I want to talk about not MCU and Raspberry Pi. Okay, not MCU is a low cost open source IoT platform. It initially includes firmware which run on the ESP8266 Wi Fi SOC from Impressive System and hardware which was based on the ESP12 module. Okay. Overview Not MCU. Not MCU is an open source firmware for which open source prototype board design are available. The name Not MCU co combine Not and MCU microcontroller Unix. The term you uh, the term Not MCU strictly speaking refer to the firmware rather than the associated development kits. Okay, both the firmware are uh, prototype board design are uh, open source. The firmware use the Lua scripting language. The firmware is based on the Elua project and built on the impressive Node OS SDK for ESP8266. Okay. It use many open source projects such as Lua CJ Sun and SPI FFS. Okay. The prototype hardware typically use the use is a circuit board for tuning as a dual dual inline package DIP which integrates a USB controller with a smaller surface mounted board containing the MCU and antenna. The choice of the DIP format allows for easy prototype on breadboards. Okay. The second point is ras Raspberry Pi. Okay. The Raspberry Pi is a low cost credit card sized computer that plug into a computer monitor or TV. Okay. And use a use a standard keyboard and mouse. It is a cable little device that enables people of a age to explore computing and to learn how to program in lang language like stretch and fighter. It's capable of doing everything you would expect a desktop computer to do from brow browsing the internet and playing high definition video to making spreadsheet with processing and playing games. Uh, what more the Raspberry Pi has the ability to interact with the outside world and has been used in a wide array of digital marker projects from music machine and parent detector, the weather station and tweeting birdhouses with infrared cameras. We want to see the Raspberry Pi being using by kids all over the world to learn to program and understand how computers computers works. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we will learn how to send a message to your friend by using a note read. So first, uh, open your note read and take this out in jack, and then that take this function and you will need MQTT up so this is for the first flow chart and then for the second chart you will need MQTT in and debug 
then connect okay um, after that click on this MQTT okay this is for MQTT out click on the icon pencil and then make sure your friend have same name of server and then click update uh, and then click topic so this is your friend's name make sure this topic same with the, your friend's MQTT in topic okay so my friend okay I click down and then MQTT in okay check if it's same or not okay Okay, this is your name. So specific name, such as like Iju, my name for my name, and then click done, and then click deploy. Make sure you uh, on this side you click debug because this this place we can um, receive our message from your from our friends, and then um, click function. So this is the place where you wanted to send your friend, uh, wanted to send your message to your friend. Okay, so first you will need to type, on the first line you will need to type mst.payload and then equals and this symbol. Okay. This is so much important. So you must put it in and then um, uh, type your message type your message on this uh, between these uh, uh, symbols so such as hi Auckland I'm just I'm just Testing my notary. Okay, and then at the end of this line, you must put these symbols too. Okay, and then you click done and deploy. And then the more, and then when you want to send a message, you must click on this, uh, on this. Color, maybe <laughs> click okay. So we wait, wait for your friends to send a message. Okay, so as you can see, your friends receive it. <laughs> okay, that's all from me. Thank you.